Hi guys, this is Dr. Shree and welcome back to Oracle H Weekly News. So without any delay, let's jump into today's clinical scenario. A woman presents with severe pulsating pain in her right index finger which increases on exposure to cold. These are the examination findings before and after removing the nail plate. What is the probable diagnosis guys? Guys, without any delay, let's jump into today's medical updates. The news regarding the need super specialty counselling. There will be two rounds of All India Quota online counselling. Round 1 includes the main counselling registration fee that may be refundable and also the non-refundable. And the exercise of choices, choice locking, choice filling and seat allotment, publication of results and reporting to the college. And in round 2, the candidates who had didn't get any seat in round 1 are eligible and they do not require any registration and the candidates who haven't registered for round 1 can register freshly in round 2. Access to quality health care for all without any hardships on behalf of Universal Health Coverage Day of December 12th. Universal Health Care aims at all people having both promotive, preventive, curative and rehabilitative health care services of sufficient health care services to be effective to all the people for all the time and ensuring that people do not face any financial hardships while paying for these services. PM says traditional medicine sector growing and gaining global attention. He inaugurated three national Ayush research institutions. There is a huge scope for Ayush startups. He highlighted that India is moving towards the direction of forming a national Ayush research consortium. In a big boost to India's health research and ecosystem, PM Modi had laid a foundation stone to national institutes for One Health Nagpur. It helps in investigating the outbreaks of emerging zoonotic agents in concern with public health and also developing the new strategies for the control. Over 1.3 lakh Ayushman Bharat's health and wellness centers are functional across the country and 1.5 lakhs to be expected expected to be functional by the end of the month, says Union Health Minister. India's digital healthcare touches new heights. E Sanjeevani achieves a milestone of completing 8 crore tele consultations. EM Flu 2.0 improved flu data sharing in Eastern Mediterranean. It is a more efficient and more easy tool for sharing the epidemiological as well as virological data. It helps in better identification, monitoring and tracking of the individuals at risk. The new key improvements made are new data capture and functionality, user-friendly and simple interference, new data analysis tools and country ownership. WHO publishes public healthcare advice regarding preventing and addressing stigma and discrimination regarding Mbox virus. Stigma, discrimination and associated fears stop the people from seeking medical attention regarding testing, care and undermines the public health. We have learned over 40 years in HIV response that stigma and discrimination are the main critical barriers in preventing the treatment, attention and care. So now we have chance in monkeypox virus case from not repeating that. 96,077 MBBS seats and 49,970 postgraduate medical seats are available in the Ministry of State in Union Health Ministry informs the Parliament. Aims to set up a digital library to streamline the procurement process and increase the transparency. It's very unfortunate that a final year MBBS student leaves the examination hall of pediatrics in the midway and hangs himself in the hostel room. It happened in the Bharatpur district of Rajasthan. Only need exam for MBBS admissions even into AIMS, PGIMR and JIPMR without any other entrance test. PM inaugurates AIMS Nagpur built at a cost of 1575 crores. BAMS and BUMS doctors to be employed at Maharashtra's primary health center and community health center at a salary of Rs 25,000 per month and IMSC is red. INI said January 2023 session results are out. MOHFW goal releases guidelines for the management of ST elevated myocardial infarction by sharing the implementational details. Are you a crazy fan of football and better be aware of flu? As millions of people are enraptured to watch the FIFA World Cup in person, they are at higher risk in getting flu and spreading it. Please make sure that you know how to protect yourself. The high risk categories are pregnant women, people greater than 65 years of age and children between 6 months and 5 years of age and people with chronic medical conditions and healthcare workers. Influenza thrives on three C's, closed spaces, crowded places and closed contact. NMC issues updated plan-wise academic calendar curriculum for 2022-23 MBBS batch. Ahmedabad Medical College to be renamed as Narendra Modi Medical College. Kim's doctors removes 12 kg polycystic liver from a 50-year-old woman. 
a 12 kg liver is too preposterous even to believe by medical brains and if the person is a woman with polycystic liver as well as a kidney disease the main aim is only to the save the life of a woman a team of doctors in kims hyderabad performed a simultaneous liver as well as kidney transplant to save the life of a person nmc to set up a panel of experts to support the ethics board and invites nominations from medical colleges Regarding the clinical training for foreign medical graduates bench of justices expressed sympathy but NMC opposed relaxations for foreign medical graduates without clinical training recently NBE has issued an alert alarming all the students and authorities against the social media groups befooling aspirants for the exam of FMG 2022 and the exam will be held on 20th January 2023 now coming back to the clinical scenario the most common probable diagnosis of the clinical case scenario is glomus tumor it is the most common benign tumor of myoarterial glomus it is seen in 30 to 40 years of age group and can also be seen in children it is seen most commonly in the regions of head neck and hands and even in the internal organs it is a pink or purple nodule with pain being the predominant feature glomus tumor is most probably provoked by temperature as well as direct pressure changes on examination there is bluish red hue and the surgical excision is the treatment of option here okay guys please like share and subscribe to oracle for more information please follow us on telegram and instagram by clicking the links given below bye guys we'll meet you in the next week's video